We are back. I am here with Clayton Concrete Carpenter, done with his fight. How was it going? Uh, fight went really well. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I felt like I dominated it. Did you just knock that dude out? <laughs> you drop him, dude? No, nah, I think... Uh, no, nah, I was looking for the knockout the whole night and kind of just waiting for my opening, not trying to force it too much, using my setups to read his movements, and wasn't able to get the finish, but... I feel like I dominated every area, stayed smooth. So did it feel like a fight or did it feel like a exhibition match? Did it feel like you were in a firefight? Uh, nah, I didn't get hit with a whole like anything other than a leg kick. So how's let me see that leg. How's that uh, leg? Going? The shin bones are alright. It's it's good now. It blew up pretty fast. Uh, I mean, it looks lame right now. It's not it's not fat, but see. it was fat. I gotta get that dude tie little and just work it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's what I've been right doing. In there too. Right in there. Yep. Come uh -huh. on, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have to work that out oh. later, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I've been doing. I've you say, so do you have anybody you go to for like injuries and stuff like that? No, nah, I just kind of scrape it out myself, and uh, I need to get with the physical therapy spot so oh, okay. i can start taking care of my body so you're more. you're one of those self diagnosis dudes yeah that's Google? exactly that's Google? exactly what i am right yeah uh -huh. dude i hate everybody oh, i love it but it's like people self diagnose their, their selves on google uh -huh. and say they have this or that and i'm one of those right one trip down yeah. med md road next thing you know like you, you're, you just turn into one of those <laughs> You ever do? Uh, have you used the so right? Uh, I have used the so right. I like the one for the spine. I don't like the one that like climbs yeah, yeah, climbs in your guts. One. The yeah, gut one is weird. I don't know. Getting them guts. Yeah, I don't. I guess I might not be using it right because it's supposed to like relieve pain and. Gotta get deep in there. Yeah. Of course. Sweet. Yeah, man. So, uh, what what are some some? You look like you've gotten a little bit. Chunkier. I have I have put on you a little bit of cheeks. weight. I got the cheeks now. Cheeks yeah, are yeah, back. Yeah. And uh, so let's talk about like the first place you go after a fight, after the diet, when you can finally eat whatever you want. What's uh, what's your first spot? I'm, I used to like Korean barbecue. Uh huh. But now I like barbecues. I like steaks. Mm -hmm. But I'm a dessert guy as well. Pizza's always good, but sometimes when it's way too cheesy, it's like. It's too much. I don't like it too cheesy. It just clogs man. me up. Yeah. yeah. Keep, it, keep it real. Don't be uh -huh. all cheesy and stuff. Uh huh. Man. Right, right. You know, put, so, what. Uh, I like it saucy. A lot of sauce. What about the bakery? The Asian bakery? Oh, the banh mi's? The banh mi's. Oh, those sandwiches? Yeah. I like those. Um, those Not the banh mi's. No, yeah, the, the, the taro buns. Taro buns. Bun, yeah. Red bean yeah, bun. Yeah, red bean. So, it's all. The Thai tea fanatic. Natural sugars. Yeah. Not too sweet. I mean, they're still super. They're sweet, still, yeah. Pretty I get sweet. super chunky. Off monk those. fruit, monk fruit only though, so it's it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, monk fruit. yeah I like monk fruit, man. I like putting it in my coffee. Um, I put, I like it better than stevia. If you haven't been put on monk fruit, it's a good switch up. What about that one we made? Remember that dessert? It was like a the snack with the brown rice cake. With the almond butter and the honey and blueberries. Oh, yeah. So this is my, yeah, like, man. a really go-to light breakfast because I'm not really a huge breakfast guy. If, if I wake up at, like, I'm not trying to shove a bunch of food in my body at, like, 7 a.m., like, 8 a.m. It doesn't really feel... It doesn't so feel inter right. Intermittent fasting? Something sure? like that. Okay. Yeah, where'd, yeah. where'd you learn that? I think intermittent fasting is just another fancy way of saying breakfast because breakfast wait wait because breakfast means break fast oh. so you're breaking the fast of your day okay so it can be whatever time you want like breakfast it's just whatever time you Dang. break the fast of Dude, the day i knew a guy that he so. said he went 26 days fasting on what what kind of fast nothing he didn't eat anything so just water just water or juice Nope. Just no water. juice, just water. Yeah. And, and like herbs or? It's just water. Wow. <laughs> and salt. Or I think he used salt. Oh. But, uh, that's I heard insane, it's, man. I heard it's really good for you. 26 days? 26 days. So my dad. Bro, the guy almost like, I'm like, dude, you're going to die, dude. Yeah. So you know? my dad did it for like 23 days. 
25 days, something like that. Damn, that's insane. And he says it's weird because once your body stops uh, moving around all the food, it, it almost like it's very, it's very odd. Like you stop, you stop taking deuces, you know, and it's yeah. like, he said it's weird. Huh. You know, like imagine not taking a deuce for like a week. Imagine that, just a week. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. I don't think me neither. You'd save money on toilet paper, but I get oh yeah, and no food too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> but, that's smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Jack? <laughs> life hack. Yeah, life yeah. hack. Just don't life eat. hack. Don't eat. Don't eat. Doctor sh- Sebi, just diet. Don't you know, shit. You'll be good. don't. It'll cure <laughs> diabetes. Uh, cures a lot of stuff, oh I guess. Gosh. Just the water diet. So, so have you ever made? <laughs> Did you, you ever make like different concoctions and desserts at home? Like after your I do, I do make. I have I have my healthy. I made one last night. I have my healthy desserts, and then I feel like my at post fight snacks are just just letting it flood. Like all the ice cream, the donuts, and just like have a few days where you just veg out, and then you just feel like a piece of shit. And you're like, Ugh, and then you're kind of over it. Yeah, I mean it's good when if you have injuries and stuff too, just to lay mm-hmm. there. And just enjoy feel, it. Yeah, just enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy feeling right. like piece of crap, you know? I was talking to like one of my tias the other day about how because we can't have sweets all the time, because we can't just have whatever we want, it creates more value for it. Like the like donuts, something as silly as like a donut. A donut has like more value when you can't have it for like a month. Yeah, you know, so yeah. and it's it's kind it's of like that everything. it's kind of that weird thing about like how everything. we we just want what we can't have. Yeah, but if you like the flip side of that is like you can have donuts whenever you want. You know, if like you don't have any athletic any athletic goals that like kind of keeps those binges on the wrap, then. Mm-hmm. It's it kind of donuts are just donuts. You can just it doesn't really mean anything. I think athletics is the best way to do it, especially jujitsu, fighting, stuff like that. But mm-hmm. uh, as far as what? Just like being being healthy, you know what I mean? Like uh-huh. working out, and, and of course, like there's a lot of people that still train and stuff like that. But cutting weight, right? Uh, it's like it <clears> always <throat> helps a lot. You know, you feel like you're doing something, and you got mm-hmm. the next fight, you do it again, you go on a diet. And mm-hmm. it helps a lot, man. Like especially when as far you, as like life wise, as yeah. just like letting things go, you know, mm-hmm. and like being grateful is something. Gratitude, something, and like, right, uh, uh-huh. just being like not satisfied completely, but being satisfied, you know, right, being satisfied with what you have and not wanting other things because like uh-huh. when you want more of other stuff and you're like, oh, I gotta get more, I gotta get more. It's right, like right. it's a constant like chase of something that you will never you will never actually have it. It's like not attainable, whatever you're chasing after, whether it's the mm-hmm. food or whatever. So things like fasting, things like letting go of... It's like gluttony. Whatever, yeah, the It's donuts. like the gluttony, yeah. yeah, of, yeah. Like, of anything, of even like Exactly, it doesn't yeah. have to be donuts. It can be like physical pleasures, Yeah. everything. So being able to be grateful of what you just are in the moment mm-hmm. and then doing and I feel like forward. Kind of what you're saying, the whole like ideology of... Like appreciating what you have and like not of being satisfied, just the whole idea of like being and still satisfied, hungry. Hung- satisfied and hungry at the same time. You know, what I mean? right, right, yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah. But uh, I was gonna say it kind of ties in with a bunch of people ask you're me, just a monk, right? Right. Well, a bunch of people ask me about my, like my diet, what I do, and I feel like it's very everything changes depending on who you are. You know, some diets work with other people. And I just keep it simple. I just eat until I'm satisfied. And there was one thing that I heard from like Gandhi when I was a little kid of knowing like my, I think it was my fifth grade teacher really like explained the difference of being satisfied and being full. Mm. So it's like the difference between not eating until you're full. Oh, you full, were telling me about that. Not eating I until your stomach's listen. full. I like it a mm-hmm. lot. Because, because then when it's full, it's like, oh, you, you get know, tired you get tired. It's very like heavy. But when you eat and you know the difference between being satisfied, you're like, oh, okay. Like I'm not hungry anymore. I don't need to finish this big bowl. I can save it for later when I, when I'm hungry again. Mm. And I feel like that's, uh, and you're always ripped. 
I you're mean, super jacked, not, dude. not right you, now, man, not right now. Even when you're, no, 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 man, you're pretty <laughs> jacked, dude. <laughs> well, I've been doing it for so a little I'm gonna, while. I'm going to jump on that. I'm going to do okay. that. Just try not to overeat. Just, yeah, don't overdo it. But sometimes I like to overeat a bunch of carbs and you sleep better. That you does I mean? work. But I feel like I have more energy when I eat just a little bit enough and then you could enough to work out. Well, and it's important to, it's important to reward yourself. Like it's important to reward yourself. You're saying like, it's good to have carbs and just uh, pass out, have a bunch of spaghetti yeah. and you can do that. Yeah. It, when you work, when you work out and you put in the work, you can eat a lot of, you know, junky stuff every now and then, you know, you just, but it's everything in uh, moderation. Mm. You know? So you have that as, as far as eating, don't you have that cooker so we can go to like the state parks and cook out in, in the uh, in the forest? Or, oh, the Weber. Yeah, the Weber, yeah, my yeah, little yeah. barbecue. Yeah. So what, yeah, what are yeah. some places you've been to? I know you like to camp a lot out here in uh, Arizona. Yeah. So I've been, I grew up here. So I grew up okay. riding dirt bikes, camping all over the place, up on the rim, uh, Four Peaks quite a bit, Saguaro Lake. Sweet. Uh-huh. So what are some spots? The There's, spots. Yeah, what's the, the spot? Dude, give me the lowdown. The lowdown. Going up on the rim is a really cool spot. It's okay. easy. South rim? Um, uh, Grand Canyon? It's like, no, no, no. No, the one in Payson. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, er. Wait, Payson, that's up by like. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just like, oh, wait, wait a second. Is that, is that really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Right, yeah, no, the rim. The rim. The rim. The rim. <laughs> Which rim, dude? South, north Which rim? rim? Like, no, the, the northwest rim. The northwest. <laughs> like, what well, no, place is that way? <laughs> Shoot. No, but uh, you can get to it. Like, you don't need an off-road vehicle. You can get to it with, like, any car. And mm. it puts you up on the ledge or overlooks uh, a really beautiful part of the valley. I was planning I might go this weekend. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not sure, or next weekend maybe. Okay. To go because I just bought a tent. Oh right. Yep. I got those uh, one of those MSR tents. I'm pretty stoked Ooh. about it, dude. I got an axe. I got my compound <laughs> bow. I got a uh, I got a target. Right. So right. I can take that thing up there. We're gonna go to Flagstaff. I think we go to end of end of the world. I've oh, never been there okay. to that hiking or to that camping spot, but I heard you, you can like overlook different things. Mm. Um, not too far, so I is might that go the, after Spari on Saturday. Is that the, that's not the super hike, is it? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think that would be. I honestly don't know. Um, no, that's tight. That's cool. Yeah, man. So yeah. how was your trip in Cali, dude? Oh, so nice. Yeah. It was much needed. Was I it, just, uh, uh, what about the corona and stuff? Is it, you gotta wear your mask everywhere. Be, uh, they definitely you know, like, are on on high corona alert in Cali. It's so funny to see the different uh, states and how they treat this virus, and how some states are more laissez-faire, whereas others are just, <sighs> you know what I mean? Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Ah! And just you just get this like mad hatred. Tell, tell us the story about. Remember you had that old lady tell you? Oh she, my god! Wah, I don't wah, even. Wah. Uh, it's a, uh, so I go hiking. I hike, uh, Camelback with one of, uh, with my mom and my sister having a good day, right? Just doing us. To a lot trailer. It was perfect, or Echo right? Or Echo. It was, uh, Echo. Echo Canyon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the way to go. <laughs> that's the one. But, uh, I, amazing hike. It was a beautiful start to our day. You know, we got there right as the sun rise, you know, and then we come back and we want to go to first watch or no, we don't go to first watch. I it, love was a, first watch. it was a chop shop. Oh. It was a chop shop. So we go to the chop shop right by the mountain and we get in line and I don't, I can't remember this was right in the beginning of this whole pandemic. This okay, is right yeah. when like the, the ball was starting to roll. Okay. Some people were wearing it, some people weren't, right? Mm -hmm. And we just came back from our hike and we just wanna go get a parfait, you know, whatever, a little breakfast. And I'm rolling like in yogurt? there. Yeah, yeah, I love I, I like love yogurt. the Nusa coconut one and the pumpkin one. Oh, so good. I, need to, I need to try, I haven't done it. So then but, carry on. But yeah. anyways. We pull up and we're in line and there's a mother with two kids. 
All right. Yeah. A little four year old running and touching everything, pulling up like chip bags of chips, having to put it back. And then a little bit older daughter, like around 14. And as soon as I roll in, she sees me with no mask and she's just like, she's like, Where, where's your mask? Where's your mask? Oh, my, my, my son has a, has a, a predisposed. And then she's freaking out trying to have this like gang mentality of like trying to get everyone around him. He's like, look, look, look. And her kid, her four-year-old kid doesn't have a mask. Doesn't have a mask. Is touching everything, but some, no. but for some reason, right? For some reason, I'm the problem. You know, it's like, huh? Yeah, and I, I you. told her, problem, right, right. Dude. I'm the problem. Some, You're right, the right. Problem. And I said, I'm like, uh, I'm like, your kid doesn't even have a mask. What, what do you? Why, why are you all up on my case about it? Yeah, you know? Yeah. And it was a kind of an ordeal. And, but I'm just like, listen, I'm like, turn around and order your food. Like, I'm here with my family. You're here with your family. Yeah. You're not wearing a mask. You know, like, I don't understand what we're arguing about. Yeah. And it's just. That's like the people in the car, man. When you, they're driving, they're just exactly. pissed off all day. And they're, all they, day. they went to work. Uh-huh. And maybe they, they had a bad day at work. Their boss was yelling at them. Of course. And then they got kids to deal with. And they're just, oh, and this, the guy's boiling yeah. red hot. And then mm-hmm. as soon as somebody barely cuts them off. <laughs> Oh, screw you, yeah, screw you. Right, ah, right. And he chases you home. He's uh-huh. so angry. And it's your fault. Right, right, right. Your fault. Uh huh. Not theirs. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's just, uh, yeah. yeah, the mental instability. Yeah. But I guess just not take, I mean, just taking it personal. Well, just don't yeah. create stories. You yeah. know, it's just like, he's just like, Arr. so he's just it's like a, automatically a it's a creating a mindset. story of just like, oh, he's trying to screw me. Oh, yeah. who do, it's like, no, dude. It's like, he's late to work too. Yeah. You know, that's why he, he messed up, you know. Yeah. It's like the accuser mindset where you're trying to accuse right. other people of, right. your, of your problems. But really it's just victim. Yeah, you got to be a chooser. Accept it and you got to choose what I'm doing instead of accusing, you know what I mean? Oh, choose like, instead of accuse? Yeah, you got to be the oh. chooser, man. I got to make, I call the shots. I'm the big boss. I'm right, choosing. Right, right. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to be Mr. Choose, dude. That's, that's how it has yeah. to be. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because if you're not, man, these people run all over you, dude. And they try to right. accuse you and tell you what to do with your life. Uh-huh. And then guess what? You're working at McDonald's and you're crying. And you're freaking... It sucks, man. Oh, no. It sucks. Who do you know that's worked at McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> hey, McDonald's is actually probably a good Bro, job. I mean, yeah, it's like no. a really good job. They take care of you. Places, yeah. We live in America. Every business is... Yeah. What am I doing fighting, Taking care man? of you. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. What am I doing fighting? Yeah, 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 way yeah, 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 better too, benefits. Right? Yeah, yeah, but they they stay moving. As just soon as that, as soon as this starts, you just like a whole bunch of custom orders too. So it's always like da da da. Yeah. What about those people to get benefits? What about those like you ever see the bums and like the homeless people? They try to jump in front of cars so they'll get so they'll get insurance. Or or they hit you with like a little sidestep, you know, like. You're tra- you're making a right on a red light and like you guys see each other and like he's just like oh and it's kind of like he knows you're coming you know he's kind of walking up to the yeah. to the corner as you're turning. They'll do that, bro. They do. They you do. Be careful. They'll hit. They'll hit themselves because they don't care. They're willing. They'll just jump in and, then and especially get some money and then go buy drugs or do whatever you know. I love it. I love the the ballsy ones that. The ballsy bums that just stand in the road and like they miss their opportunity to like book it and they're just right in the middle of the road. Yeah. They're right in the middle of the road, just like on the line of the suicide lane, and it's like vroom, vroom, and they're yeah. just like like nothing. And you live and I'm in just Phoenix like perfect. right there, so you've seen it. Right. Yesterday, bro, I saw this dude, this guy, man, he was doing like mixed martial art oh, snap. high level, Ooh. but he was a crackhead. Right. And he was like in the middle of the street. The crackhead got out. His mouth all dry and like white, and he was just nice. like, and he was like, damn, you didn't take a vid? I was driving. And I was oh just yeah, like, yeah, right. Dude, and I drove past him, and his form was actually sick. Like, oh, you know what I mean. He was right by the bus stop, and then he uh-huh. walked in the middle of the street. Crazy, he's probably dude. just an old, yeah. an old dog that knew the arts. No, he's he's new age. Like, oh, new age. He's like the next generation. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Right, yeah, man. I would like. I'm impressed. His, mm-hmm. his. Uh, With the crackhead karate. Yeah, his form was good. His form. Like snapping I don't know, it. he was good at something. Yeah, and then he's he putting some pop in lifestyle. it. Yeah, but he has good. Yeah, I don't know if it was like wushu or something, dude. But it was wahoo. Cool. He had that little yeah thing going on. Mm. 
maybe he saw the Karate Kid, the new Netflix series. Oh, right. I have. Have you watched it? No. I'm not. Okay, exactly. Yeah. yeah I, I saw the cover it. photo. and I'm just like Christ. I mean, it I, I want to watch it. I'll give it a try. Every time I get I'll on give Netflix, it a shot. I get in there. Uh huh. And. Like, okay, hey, what are we going to watch? So mm-hmm. my girlfriend, mm-hmm. It, mm-hmm. oh, we're going to watch this one. No, I don't want to watch that. Let's mm-hmm. watch the next one. And do we take 45 minutes to choose one? And we Dude, finally choose one. I thought that was just me. We finally I thought choose that was one. Just me. Uh-huh. And then we're, I'm like, this sucks. And uh-huh. I just like exit out of it. <laughs> yeah. Go to the next one. And it's like, oh, well, let's watch anime then. Right. So you go anime, <laughs> and they start reading. And you get tired. And like, oh, I'm hungry. You go get uh-huh. some. I can't, I don't know if it's my ADHD or whatever, man, mm-hmm. but. I don't think so. Because I don't like to watch garbage. So, because I'm okay. in the same boat. And I'll be like going so through trailers. Well. I'm a trailer guy too. Yeah. But I end up just looking at trailers for 30 minutes. And I'm just like, I'm just, I'm like, it's late. I'm going to go to bed. I don't have time yeah. for no TV show, yeah. no movie. Yeah. I'm like, I got shit I got to do in the morning. I got a game too as well, man. I need to get back on the game. And gaming? Yeah, I got the Xbox. Uh-huh. I got a bunch of games, but I never play. Well, that's probably good. You're probably you're out in the world doing stuff you need to do. Yeah, but I need to play. Just oh. I don't know. Keep me inside. Okay. Right. Like right. Yeah. Instead of going hitting the clubs. There's no clubs. Right. No. Of course not. It's a coronavirus. And that I is fight true. In three weeks. That it. This Karate is true. Karate chop this dude at a uh, fight island, Dubai. Fight island, Dubai. Double going back. Buy. Mm-hmm. Double checks. Let's go. Yeah. So it's in it's in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, it's Yas Island. Nice, nice. Yeah, man. That's gonna be legit. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm, uh, I cannot I'm fighting wait. Korean zombie. Oh no, I just kidding. looks like a man. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that on Twitter? Someone replied to your thing. They're like uh, the other version of Ortega versus Korean zombie. Yeah, yeah. They said on Wish Ortega versus <laughs> oh, Korean damn. zombie on Wish. Damn. <laughs> They did you dirty. And then there's another one. They said Jesus versus uh, <laughs> Sensei Wu. And then another one was uh, Jorge Mavzidal versus Takaroni, or Takanori Gomi. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> dude, there's a bunch, dude. It was hilarious, oh. dude. I saw some funny ones. Or, uh, yeah. But I love that, man. That's what we need to do is everybody needs to just keep keep it light, have fun. Mm-hmm, That's why mm-hmm. I like the fighting, too, as well. You know, so, like. Just keep it light, man. Yeah, keep it light. Don't get too Take serious. So, so heavy, like say something. Yeah, don't don't get heavy. Uh huh. That person say, "Take it so deep to heart." And then you're thinking about it all day, and, and that person just, like, didn't even mean it. They're just nah, kind of said it out there. Exactly. Mouth, you know, and it's just your insecurity. Is that yeah. just as heavy? And then the opposite is where you don't analyze anything and just like, oh, oh, oh just right, right. Like, it uh-huh. doesn't mean anything, and then boom, <laughs> the car hits you, and you're like, ah, oh. you know? I should have been paying attention. I think it's good to have a mindset that you can like. Mm-hmm. Like you can like go deep into things, and then also at the same time just kind of take it. Keep for, it light. For yeah, just for what it is. Yeah, or probably just knowing when to keep it light, and knowing when to Throwing out the situation. Exactly. Using your chi. Yeah, yeah. Your to energy, just like the force. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You or believe t- in the force? What's what's the? That was very. That wasn't reading. I thought you were reading the energy. Oh, no, I'm keeping, that was I'm very. Keeping the haters away. Oh, okay. Out of my the force, force for the field. haters. Yeah, right. The force field. Yeah, how they just bounce off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how you gotta be. Yeah, I call it the shield of ignore. The Jedi. The shield of ignore. Do you feel like a Jedi? Uh, Do I constantly feel like I'm a Jedi. Hmm. I think it's my calling. Yeah, there, there's some there's some parallels of the samurai. That's like the whole the, the whole thing side. with the the Jedi. It's the like the samurai side. mentality. This is the dark side. Of your well, you know about the samurai mentality. This is like freaking dark mall. Oh shoot. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. no, 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 for real. Book of Five Rings. Book of Five Rings. Yeah. What if that guy was just a liar? He didn't, he didn't even like kill that's, all these people. Uh, that's kind of what I. That's kind of what I've been thinking about. I've debated that in my head a few times. Either he's legit, the greatest. Right. Or, or it's all boof. He's just. It's all he's just, just fugazi. So he just made. Money. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. He's just. Maybe who knows? In my opinion, though, is like, like you it's... cannot. And then the people just fall. Who, whatever, whatever he was, he understood the game, and like he understood the, like the ideology of the game, 
and like the difference so between. So you're trying to say he's not from this dimension? Um, like not something? not exactly. Oh, he didn't come from somewhere else. But but the book really helped me understand like a few things between. Yeah, give me my damn book back, ra- bro. I will. I will. I like I like <laughs> your I like your underlines. I like reading it over over and over. You know, yeah. and it's good to just keep it fresh. And like whenever, I feel like sometimes when you don't keep it fresh, it uh. It just kind of—it's easy to kind of go away. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sweet. So, what what are some of your some techniques now that are things that you have realized? You know, Jedi stuff from your last oh, fight. Jedi. Uh-huh. Now that you're like, oh, I want to do this in my next fight, uh-huh. or something you want to get better at. Okay, Maybe I would a concept principle. Mm-hmm. I would say. Uh, let's see. That's a great question. I learned quite a few things. Uh, it was my first like semi like publicized uh, fight, you know, that's on UFC Fight Pass, and how, I mean, now like more than ever, like kind of everyone's watching, you know. Yeah. And, and the masks kind of keep it like quiet. You can't hear people as much, even the though masks. there was like uh-huh. not as many people. But when I was in your corner, uh-huh. I was saying some foul stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I was, I was like, yes, no round. No. I was like, get uh-huh. him, uh-huh. give him, the, give him the clay special, give him the clay special uh-huh. again, again, again. Uh huh. It was, funny, it was perfect. It was perfect. The guy came up I to like you it. after and was like, "What's the clay special?" Mm-hmm. And I was like, "I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even know. I was just saying, hit him with your special yeah. attack, you know. Uh-huh, right. Whatever it that is, it Kamehameha, worked. Hadouken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, I just, I felt, I felt smooth. I felt good. I felt like, like smooth I was like Benson Henderson. Not smooth as like smooth as Benson. Oh, no nah, toothpick. Not yet. No toothpick. Damn. Nah. Damn. But. Uh, and you got a new watch after that fight or what? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, snap. To, okay, so you had to flex watch. on it? Let me see. No, nah, nah, I've had this watch for a while. Oh, okay. My boy Dan got it for me. Oh, sweet. I went to, went to college with him. Pretty cool dude. Oh, you went to college? Uh, I Something like that. Sweet, what, dude. Yeah, uh-huh. So he's an educated fighter. Uh, a little Not bit. like these knuckleheads that just bite down their mouthpiece. and it's Just hard sl- style. Yeah. All they know is just overhand rights. Is that you? Uh, it no, used to be not. used to be me. Uh, that used to be me too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized that doesn't work at right, all. Right, right. You're, you're just, just gonna eat shots. Yeah. And like it's cool in a while. You're like, oh yeah, fighter. And then it's just like, oh no. Yeah, one concussion, two concussion. Right. Then you don't remember your name, and you're like, oh, <laughs> Four maybe concussion. I should block with my no more. Yeah. Uh huh. Four ounce gloves. You'd be like, oh yeah, man, I gotta like move. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The concept of moving and flowing. Movement. Footwork, base. See, that's the thing that, like, the ground foundation. The Book of Five Rings really gave me a good template to, like, see things of, like, the short range, the mid range, and the long range, mm. and how it kind of parallels with fighting really well. And one of the, like, most um, useful mm-hmm. thing that I took from it is the understanding of observing and not not looking like not not seeing but observing of like not looking at you know like your shoulder not you're looking not just you using these the eyes. eyes you're using these eyes and this eyes here. i see everything right yeah Analyzing and trying with... because when you look at like one thing you try to pay attention to one like part of the body because you think of whatever you think he's going to throw yeah. and then you just you miss a bigger picture yeah that's I mean, that's the difference between just, like, being there and looking like, or, right, like, right. oh, this guy's doing this. And you're, like, plotting stuff. And mm-hmm. You're just mastermind. Exactly. And you're like, I know everything. And then, boom, you get hit. And you're like, oh, st- <laughs> crap, right. I don't know everything. And you're just like, whoa, whoa, you're like, like I got to work not... on the jab again. <laughs> jab, 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 jab. Double leg. Right. The guy's sprawling. You're like, uh-huh. it's only the first round. Your coach is, like, smacks you. <laughs> what are you doing, man? You ever been, like, yelled at in the corner? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, I mean, yeah. I've been yelled at, like, in the middle of the fight, you know? Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? That's what I was trying to yell to you, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I should have. Uh-huh. You did good, though. I did all right. I just felt. It was cool when he threw head kicks and you just, you did that <laughs> little, little ding. Yeah, man, that was uh-huh. tight. Yeah, I need to, because I'm, I'm doing, I feel like my movement's clean. I feel like I'm really finding my flow. I just need to not give an inch that was i feel like that would be the biggest takeaway is like not a single inch so how many inches should you give nothing 
Zero. Zip. So just don't even. Not, don't even think about it. Yeah. Uh huh. And like, you really can't give him anything. Like, you can't let him get one shot off. So you don't even like, give, no, you don't even give these, you can't, these girls the time of day. You're not get- well, I, it's hard. It's hard when you like wake up, try to get a run in the morning, and then you got to go hit the morning class, come back, make yourself lunch, chill, you know, and like, Ooh. right. I mean, right. Ooh, yeah, I got to yeah, no. train it's all day. Uh-huh. I have a job. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's the just, best it's life, a dude. It's, a, it's the best. Love it. All, all I do is train and, uh, like private lessons, you know, like help other people learn. Will you how give to... me a private lesson? I can. <laughs> what will, will we go over? Uh, whatever you want. Okay. You want the ground? You want the feet? Oh, okay. You want like ra- like street self defense? Self defense work, workout, yeah. So show me some of your what? What's the <laughs> self defense of of the week? Uh, what you got? Okay. Show me some. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so what do you do? We'll, what if you we'll do go, this, if we'll somebody comes over. up to you like this? No, no, no. no, 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 no. no, no. Yes, somebody yes. comes up like okay, this. Okay, so this is a very common thing. Big muscle man, right? Ugh. And it could so be hard. It could be hard. Maybe, you know, he's super strong. His bench is mad tight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you want to do is you grab right here, right? Because you don't want to be choked, all right? And then I'm gonna give you a little you resistance. Get, I, don't, I don't think your stuff <laughs> works, bro. <laughs> you gotta get, you gotta get your hips in. You gotta look up, look up, and then you have to disappear. <laughs> okay, well, put him on the wall. Put him on the wall. Hey, hey, sir. No, that was not cool. Stop resisting. That was not cool. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Hey, dude, oh, okay, bro. Whoa, whoa, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You know what? See, no, see, no, I'll no, show you what I would do from there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, his, so, his, so, okay. This is so a kind of matrix move. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And so I hit you, you can catch yeah. the punch. Right, right. And then you can roll under, you mm-hmm. got the step. Mm-hmm. But uh, this one for the street, you're just going to like, okay, get a turn oh, and pump. Pump no. up, boom! Oh. Right? Fingers in the eyes. Tss. Then I'm going to grab the heart, pull it out. Pump, pump, <laughs> pump. Elbow. Oof. And then forget about the knee, because he's already dead. She's already done. Yeah. That's a wrap. And it is a wrap. All right, guys. We'll uh, appreciate you coming on the show today. Tune in. We're going to be back on the uh, the carpenter slash. We were on the couch cast last time. Now this is going to be the wood cast. The wood cast. So now we can finally afford the studio. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Moves. Making moves. All right, brother. Little by little. All right. Sweet. That was smooth. That was cool. Yeah, yeah.